Kubor Nagashlem to Nongsan Hima. U MP Raja Sabahau Dr. W. R. Karluki, Ubaderu State President ka National People's Party, Ulong Bahagani ka Kinti, Kabamanta, Udon ka Jing Snow Scam, Baka NPP, Kanyo Yuso, Jung ka Jing Job, Haka Election, Kaban Wan, and So Yong Constituency. Yakini ki Kinti and U Dr. Karluki, Lakren, Bikilat Patai Kubor, Mantaka Singing, the South Reg Ujemang, Arajar Arpulai. Have a grand lord, Kajinkawang Ti, a UDP, Persha, a NPP, Hagging Yalap election. Hakabau ba ba job ping rub u badi sports person ke NPP u loong ba ke NPP kan pa shong ke UDP ha ka liang persha na ka liang doctor Karuki ha ba jubab ya ke ni u loong ka bakran u ba ba job ka dei tang ka jing ya ther ka ba mar ka liang you see the question is this what i heard i was not there but what i heard is that uh, in the campaign the UDP was saying that after the election there will be a change of government so it's quite natural the reaction will be that well if you want to change of government you better take care of well, unless you'll be dropped from the government. So this is the thing. Do you see things will change at that side polls? I don't know yet, but I think something is going to happen after so young. Whatever way, maybe a big change or a small change, but something is going to happen. Do you see this move of the NPP managing to bring the PDF on board of merger? Will work the work in PP for this uh, John by full in so young? Well, I think if if it's if it if it is there and will we succeed in that, it'll be an addition. Uh, I see even as it is today, I'm very confident that I'm going to win Soya. Okay. As we have seen your uh, sports person Bajok has only stated that you the UDP is likely to ask the UDP to send the person. Will that happen exactly? That's why the thing I said in the campaign. Maybe as a reaction to what the UDP is saying. But job keep this reaction because well you cannot if you have if you have shoot us with one arrow, we have to shoot also with another arrow, no? If if the UDP is having that mentality after the election, they're going to you know, to take the government away from us. It's quite natural that we will throw them out if they didn't succeed because last time they tried it. But they could not succeed. We are able to form the government. Of course, they came backing to us to give them two, 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 many, two ministers. But even if the UDP is out, it will not affect the government? Because... No, no, it will not, not affect the government. Okay. So coming to the issue we have been speaking about, now the government is very upbeat with the possibility of signing, signing, scientific mining to start in a few weeks. See, for me, I am for mining. I am for my people who came from giant hills. I know how much my people suffered because of this, of this ban in coal mining. You see, when you ban coal mining, I'm not speaking only about the revenue that a state gets. How it affected the people have walking like daily laborer. And you know, when a, a truck started from the coal mine, it not only served the people in the coal mine area, it served the people throughout the highway. So this is my concern. And this is, I actually, I, Thrice or twice I have tried to raise this issue in the parliament. It was listed, but it's just my luck because of the disruption of parliament, I could not raise it. To me, is I really welcome it. At least it will help my people. Because I used to tell people that you are saying, talking about, about our, our people there who, who own the mine and all this, they were coal baron which they own or call mafia, whatever the people here are calling them. They don't even know what is the meaning. I was last time also I was asking, did they ever ask that the same people who are very rich because of coal, why they are not educated? Why not, not to speak of educated, why they are literate? Because I remember I live in Giant Hills. I was very small, very young. I remember at that time there was nothing for them. Most of them, they went to do Walk as a cowherd in Shlo, in Jwai town and in some of the towns. But with the coming of the coal, then the wealth and everything comes. So this is a livelihood which I feel that we are deprived of a fundamental right of earning livelihood. So I'm, I really welcome that this step taken. At least it will help our people.